Hi, it's Kurt again, another unboxing. Today we're looking at the Converse All-Star Chuck Taylor 2. They were just recently introduced. I believe it was the first week of August. And I understand that it's very difficult to, to uh, uh, track down a pair, especially in, in the more popular sizes. But I have been fortunate enough to uh, get my hands on a box. I'm not sure if size 11 is a, a popular size. By the way, uh, if you're familiar with Converse, you should go half size up. I normally take, excuse me, uh, they're made large. So you go half size down. I normally take a size 11 and a half. Um, so I ordered size 11. Here we are. I, I did some research on, on this before I... Uh, I purchased it and what they wanted to do is retain a lot of the look and feel of the uh, the classic design which was first introduced in 1917 but this particular design uh, hasn't really changed much in 60 60 70 years I believe around 1949 essentially what they've done is they've retained the uh, this the same look as as uh, the previous iteration but with uh, better materials and better technology. What we have now, we have a padded, non-slip tongue. The previous uh, model would always slip around. They seem to have addressed that. You can see that, yeah, here we have some tie downs here. So that's not gonna be an issue. We have a uh, perforated uh, micro suede lining and the, the canvas, it seems like a better better quality canvas. The eyelids are uh, a bit different as well. The previous model had uh, contrast in color. And the sole is a bit different. We don't have a the, uh, the line that went around the sides. Sure, I can take this foot bit out. Yeah, we'll have a better look at it. This is the, uh, the Luneron footbed. It's actually made by Nike. A lot of people not, perhaps don't realize that Converse is actually owned by Nike. They bought the company in 2003 after they went bankrupt. And sales, of, since uh, Nike, has, Nike has owned the company, sales have currently been taken off. One other thing I'm, I'm noticing about this is that the badge is on the interior. It looks a bit, in my opinion, maybe a little bit naked on the outside, but perhaps I'll get used to it. I think there's four colors they have. Black, white, blue, and red. Black goes with everything, so I went with black. So that's about it. I will get back to you guys at a later point in time and let you know what it feels like to wear them. Thanks for being with us.